Hello racing fans, this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 back with another NASCAR racing analysis and it's time to review the dramatic finish to the 2018 first Data 500 and the feud brewing between Joey Logano and Martin Truex Jr. So on Sunday, October 28th of 2018, the series headed to the Paperclip in Martinsville, Virginia for the 33rd race of the NASCAR season and the first race of the round of eight. And certainly, the race did not disappoint whatsoever. We saw some classic Martinsville beating and banging as well as some quality battles for the lead. During the 500 mile grind, however, nothing was more eye-catching than the finish to the event. With seven laps to go in the race, Martin Truex Jr. caught race leader Joey Logano, who had the best car throughout the day. The two battled side by side until on the final lap, MTJ cleared him for position. During the final corner, however, Joey Logano used an old school bump and run style technique to overtake MTJ and run side by side. The 22 and 78 were beating and banging to the finish line where Joey Logano wins the first Data 500 and he punched his ticket to the NASCAR Cup Series Championship 4 in Homestead. After the race, however, MTJ did not take the loss very well and was not pleased with Joey Logano and how he was raced on the track. Now, to a certain extent, I understand why Martin Truex Jr. was frustrated. After all, the last few months have been surrounded by negativity as well as potential chances to win slip away. As last September, it was announced that Furniture Row Racing would cease operations in 2019, leaving MTJ and Cole Pern with an uncertain future within the sport. In addition, you had a heartbreaker at the Charlotte Roval with he and Jimmy Johnson colliding on the final turn. As you can tell, MTJ was not very happy about that result either. With all that said, however, let's hear the reactions from MTJ after this race. May won the battle, but he ain't win the damn war. So he's not going to get there. You're not going to win the championship. He ain't. In my point of view, MTJ just made himself look like a sore loser by doing the cute little thumbs down gesture and rallying up the crowd like that. He absolutely took this out of proportion and I'll get to more of why in a minute. Not only is the 78 team taking this out of proportion, but a majority of the fan base is as well. For years, tons of NASCAR race fans have asked for and wished for more old school beating and banging that put the sport on the map in the 1990s. Moments that harken back to the days where Dale Sr. rattled the cage of Terry Labonte and when Jeff Gordon put the bumper to Rusty Wallace to get the win. All I hear on social media after the race is, Joey Logano is such a dirty racer. Oh, MTJ deserves to retaliate at Homestead, completely dump him. Just like Matt Kenseth did in 2015, he deserves to lose his championship hopes for that pathetic excuse of a move. Seriously, to the entire 78 team, as well as the fans who have a beef with Logano, pump the brakes. While MTJ never instigated the battle with a bump of his own, what Logano did was completely legal. Unlike last year with Denny Hamlin blatantly dumping Chase Elliott, Logano gave him a simple bump that moved him up the racetrack and allowed a fair side-by-side -side battle to the finish line. Besides, MTJ would have done that exact same thing if it was the last corner, last lap of the race, and his only option to win and go to Homestead in the championship four was to give the leader the bumper to compete for the win. 
Also, the reason why Martin Truex Jr. didn't rough up Kyle Busch in 2017 was because he didn't need to. Martin Truex Jr. was already battling side by side for the lead. There was no need for a bump and run style move to get side by side, like with Joey Logano, what he did on Sunday. Without a doubt, if the roles were reversed, Martin Truex Jr. would have at least tried to give him the bumper and to take that position away from Joey Logano. What frustrates me the most is that these are the types of moments that NASCAR needs to gain more TV viewers and more fans in the stands. And instead of appreciating the side-by-side -side racing and the thrilling finish, we decide to tar and feather Joey Logano and make the bump and run of all things controversial. MTJ is just a sore loser in this case, and he is frustrated that Joey Logano edged him out for the win. He is surely going to fit in with Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin if he indeed takes over that 19 car at Joe Gibbs Racing. He needs to get over it, go to Texas. He still has a 20 25 point lead over the cutoff. There is nothing to get angered about over Joey Logano. His championship is still intact and it is absolutely ridiculous that he is trying to pick a fight with Joey Logano over a bump and run. As for the fans, I have this one simple quote for you to listen to carefully. I don't know what y'all are whining about, but if you don't like that kind of racing, don't even watch. This is one of the rare times that Kyle Busch is right. Anyways, I would highly suggest watching Formula One if you are going to get upset about this finish. A series where the racing is so politically correct that race teams will order drivers to give up the race win in order to help a fellow teammate win the driver's championship. If you can't take that racing, that's the sport you should watch. So the bottom line, it's just racing. Martin Truex Jr. did nothing wrong on the racetrack and neither did Joey Logano. It was just another case of two drivers going after the checkered flag and the race win and fighting hard to advance in the championship four in the NASCAR playoffs. NASCAR needs more bumper to bumper side by side racing to further grow in the 21st century and the drivers and the fans should be in full support, not criticizing this outcome. Hopefully this finish becomes more of a highlight for the roller coaster 2018 season instead of a controversy or a starting point to a future retaliation by MTJ. So anyways, this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015 signing out. And just remember, life's a beach and then you drive.